Hey guys, and welcome to my March 2019 bullet journal setup. Um, this is the exact same bullet journal I was using in all of my last videos. It is a paper chase journal. I think that might have focused there. Um, if you have seen my previous ones, it might look a bit different because it did have a slogan here and I decorated with some washi tape, but I have replaced that. Um, I'm going to do a flip through of December, January and February because I didn't do setups of January or February in this. Um, well, I did setups, I just didn't film it. And so I'm going to flip through December like I would have if I had done January. And then I'm going to set up March. So let's find December. There we go. So I did film a setup for December, and my theme for December was the Water Tribe from Avatar, uh, The Legend of Aang, or The Last Airbender, if you want to call it that. Um, I'm just going to close the window because I can hear a lot of noise out there. Yeah, hopefully that's a bit quieter. So um, my theme for December was the Water Tribe, and you'll see from my other setups that I did keep this theme going a bit. Um, so we had my monthly setup. Um, you can see the mood tracker was something I really didn't do. I've come to notice that I'm just very bad at using trackers. Um, so it's kind of, my use of trackers has changed a lot since December. I'm still just reluctant to get rid of them altogether though. <laughs> Even though from the look of this, I basically should. Um, and I had my to-do list, which annoyingly I did all of these. I just never took them off, so a bit pointless. Um, my December habit tracker. Again, I was starting to mark off days and I just didn't track anything. And as it got into January and all, there was a lot more days where I didn't track anything than days when I did. Um, and then we had my weeklies. I was cramming two weeklies into a day. Um, I have a little quote written here. Um, well, the beginning of a quote, because I want to do a bit of watercolor there and write this out. I still want to do it, even though this was December. And you will see why later. Um, December, of course, I had my kind of seasonal things, kind of more Christmassy stuff. I was trying to do um, spending trackers. Sorry, it's even here and I couldn't think of the word. Uh, I was trying to track my spending, so I did out a grid. And kind of as it got towards the end, I stopped using it. So again, finances has changed in this. Um, just a few of my dailies. Um, I was tracking how many readings I was doing for an assignment. Again, I put in a list that I didn't end up ticking things off. This was packing to go home for Christmas. Um, to show you this um, assignment tracker, this was just tracking the reading. The next page I had tracking my word count, and I did like this. This I'm, I'm probably going to make a few new ones of these very soon, because I have two more essays coming up. So I thought this was a nice way to track kind of how many words I was writing on a day, and you know... There was a day here where I didn't write any, but then I wrote loads the next day. So that's just a nice way, I think, to see it and kind of see when you hit the, the word count. Uh, so that's it for December. Then we're getting into uh, 2018. So you can see how the um, theme continued. So we had the, the Water Tribe was December. Spoiler alert. <laughs> January is the Air Nomads. February is the Earth Kingdom, and March, mm, what's it going to be? <laughs> Obviously it's going to be the Fire Nation, and that is my absolute favourite, so I cannot wait to get doing the art for for March. And um, these down here, Progress and Grow, these are my words of the year, because I just kind of want to start moving on with things, and kind of getting some bigger goals completed. Um, uh, this is something I actually I will be filling out at the end of February, so in a few days' time. Um, this is the idea of a level 10 life. I have tried it in the past and it didn't really work because I did a spread where I just kind of marked it, but I was like, this doesn't track how, you know, my happiness in these kind of areas might change from month to month. So at the end of each month, I'm going to give these six things a rating out of 10 and I'm going to mark it off and I'll probably have a big zigzaggy grade going all the way up, but... It's just a nice way to kind of summarise the, the month in terms of a few categories. Um, goals and things I want to do this year. Um, yeah, I was going to do like 
and I got very weird with goals that I was going to do like full on goals I wanted to do, do a 19 before 2019 or an 18 of 2018. And I do have some goals, but I kind of like the idea of more trends and habits that I want to have. Actually, though, thinking of goals, ta -da, I have opened an Etsy shop, um, which I will, I should do a separate video about it. I will do a separate video about it. Um, so that's goals. Um, this spread was one, again, inspired by Avatar. This is the tree from the swamp. It's all about balance and the world being connected. And um, so I kind of had this as a more and less. So things I want to do more of. You may not be able to make it out because I was writing particularly small here. I want to draw more and I want to leave my headphones at home more and just live in the moment. And things I want to do less of is multitask. I want to have one thing and focus on that one thing. Now, into January. Of course, this is my January you know, cover page. It's not really a title page because I refuse to write the month over it because they're turning out so good and I'm so happy. Not quite so happy with Earth, but we'll see that when I get to it. Um, so, monthly spread. I didn't really use it all that much in January, I notice. Um, but it's just basic calendar grid, another to-do list, and a little picture of Oppa just to fill the gap down in the bottom. This is where you really start to see me not using my trackers. So these are my productivity, uh, productivity, if I can say the word properly. Uh, these are my productivity trackers. So for college, so doing different colors for different topics and how much time I was wasting on YouTube and Netflix and Amazon and all of that. Um, I did use this back here. You remember in my, um, in my November spread, that is November, isn't it? Yeah, in my November spread I used it, and again, I didn't use it much. So I have scrapped that idea altogether. And this was my habit tracker that I was going to do, like the one in December, as a um, bending scroll, but I never got around to it. And I'm not all that fussed, so I don't really mind that I never got around to it. Um, again, usual pages and monthlies. This is the same as in the spot at the end of... December's month weeklies, words again all mixed up, that I want to do the watercolour and write out the the quote. These are the quotes that um if you watch Avatar, uh these are the quotes that Iroh says when he's teaching Zuko about uh the four elements combining and when he's teaching Zuko how to redirect lightning. Um so this is the air is the element of freedom quote that's gonna go there. Um, reading tracker didn't really work all that much. I was reluctant to do my previous reading tracker, which if I can find out, I'm sure it was in this one. Um, maybe it wasn't. Yes, it was. I drew out this big bookcase for last term's reading, but I found last term I had a lot more definite readings that I had to do. Whereas this term, it's like you have your primary sources and then your secondary sources kind of just pick as many as you think are enough to give you the information you need basically. So you're given a list that you can't possibly read them all. You pick the ones you can read. Um, sorry, am I going off frame? Oh, I am going off frame. Sorry. Um, now, um, this was trying to plan when I went home for a few days. I didn't really do it all that much. Um, you may notice my handwriting changes quite a bit here um, between like these pages. So that is because I got this um, calligraphy pen. It's just a very cheap calligraphy pen. It cost me like a pound but I decided to get it because I'm doing paleography, so I'm reading medieval handwriting, and I was like, maybe if I try and imitate some of their letterings, it might help me recognize it. So this this isn't me copying medieval handwriting, this is just, you know, messing around. Um, bits of this is like the, the Ds, are very much like the Ds in the handwriting I'm learning. Um, anyway, back on topic. Um, so this, I was trying to get a bit of a morning and an evening routine, which I do quite like. I stick to the morning routine very well. Evening routine, not so much. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm getting a lot better at actually getting up and getting started, though, because of this morning routine. Um, so a load of dailies, and here is where you really get me messing around with handwriting. Um, I'm not sure if I like it. I don't know. I might go back. Um, so February is tough. And I love how Toph turned out. I'm not so happy with the way um, Omashu turned out. I think it's just 
it, it's tricky to get variations of brown, especially since I have a very cheap watercolour set, which makes mixing colours a bit tricky. But, you know, it's alright. I had just this done for ages, and then when I finally put Toff in, it did look a lot better. Um, I just left this here in pencil. This was me planning out where I was going to rate things on my level 10 life, which I showed you. And I will be doing another one of these at the end of February. So let's see what February was like. Um, because February was a shorter month, I had a bit of extra space so I could cram in my tracker here. And again, I was doing so well tracking everything and then I stopped. I do still kind of track it on my phone. Not reliably enough though, I think I, I think I don't need to get rid of trackers, but I'm going to try it for one more month because I have a plan for this month, which will be very different. And then here we have my my weeklies. Um, again, very much the same as they were in the past. I use them quite a bit more this term or this month, I think. And if you're wondering what the big numbers painted over them are, these are the numbers of the week of the term. So we are currently on the 22nd is when I'm filming this. Um, and it is week seven of term. My term has um, 10 weeks, so we are three weeks from the end of term. And then next page. This is where I'm gonna put the quote again at the end of the weeklies. Um, for Earth, it's, I think Earth is the element of substance. So that's gonna go there. So I want to do this kind of water color effect in the other months. Um, budgeting. Um, I'm doing my budgeting kind of differently now. Rather than tracking each individual spend, I'm only spending cash. So I'm just tracking when I take money out of the bank. And at the end, I'm gonna see how much cash I have left at the end of the month I'm carrying over to next month and how much savings I have in the bank from this month's paycheck. So I might compact that into somewhere else in March, but we will see. Um, this is where I start messing around putting in extra spreads and kind of coming up with ideas. So I have a wants versus needs spread. This was meant to be like a desert plain, a rocky plain with like a big crack down the middle. Don't really like how it turned out, but it's basically a list of things I want to buy, a list of things I need to buy. And I was kind of saying if it was on the list of wants for more than a month and I still really want it, then I can get it. Um, I have gone against this because I did buy a micro SD card. I kind of moved that over to there because that's currently in my camera that was recording. Um, quotes page, I haven't actually written any quotes on it, as you can see, but I do like the idea of collecting quotes, um, not necessarily the Pinteresty inspirational quotes. Um, basically at the end of January, I went to see Darkest Hour with my dad and on the way home from the cinema, I was looking up uh, quotes from Churchill and he had quite a few very good and very funny quotes that I kind of wanted to put in so I still need to look them up again and stick a few quotes in here. Uh, next page. Okay, this is, uh, I have to explain this first. Fun facts, okay? That's an S, those are capital F's. They look like two F's, I know. I was trying to copy medieval handwriting, okay? In bits. And these may not necessarily be actual fun, facts but this is the kind of thing that I encounter in readings in college that I tend to write into my notes even though they're not relevant to the topic just because I find them interesting and I don't want to forget so like I'm writing an essay on St Mary Magdalene at the moment and I found it interesting that her feast day is July 22nd not at all useful interesting so I'm gonna keep doing frames like this cover here and do that I kind of like that it's, a, it's practice as well for making frames and designing panels and stuff. And then we go into dailies. So that's where we are. So I'm gonna use one of the last pages to do my level 10 life. Um, I won't do that on, vi on video now because I want to actually do that on the 28th. And then we're gonna get into March. Oh, and I just noticed I'm on page 100. Yay. Um, <laughs> So this is the pencil sketch for my March title page. If you can make it out, don't worry, I will be going over it to, eh. Again, I cannot speak today. I will be going over it in pen and then I will be watercoloring it. And that's what we're gonna do now.
So that is my March setup finished. Uh, I'll just do a really quick flip through. As you can see, it's very brief. It's only about three spreads, kind of and a half. Um, anyway, so that is my cover photo or cover photo cover page. Um, honestly, I'm not all that happy with how it turned out. Um, I really struggled to get the right colors because a lot of the breads in my watercolor set are very pink toned, whereas I need them to be more orange toned to fit with the fire more. But may do. It's all right. Yeah. Um, my typical monthly spread, just an average month calendar. Um, I will fill this out, and I did notice that I did one of the lines slanted, but you know, won't bother me too much. Um. And I just did a bit of fire down in the bottom corner, which I love how that turned out. Um, and I'm thinking this space, I might leave out my monthly to-do list, which I used to do, which you can see there, because I wasn't really using them. And I might just squeeze in a very brief version of my finances. So what I had saved from last month, income for this month, and then just the major uh, times I take have to take money out. Um... My weeklies, um, I decided to try doing weeklies and dailies in one. Um, and kind of use this uh, for like weekly appointments and this kind of for planning out my studying. So I have just my weekly calendars, I have a band for work. And then along the bottom I'm thinking planning out uh, meals because I, I need to eat better basically. Um, and I have my to-do list and a mini study log. So this is a really small version of, of that, which I did show you. Um, and I did the same thing with my uh, hob <laughs> hobby, um, my habit tracker. I cannot speak today, I swear. Um, with my habit tracker, um, which I realise I haven't actually filled in the habits and I need to do that. But I'm kind of wondering if doing it on a weekly basis might get me to do it more. And just generally use this. I'm going to try and have it open a bit more. And then I just have my dailies with my normal time band so I can mark out when I want to study and all. And I have the rest of the week there, Sunday crowned up there, and a little section for memory keeping and uh, gratitude as well, maybe, because um, I have noticed that, you know, the weeks are just blending into each other and I'm mostly thinking about being stressed and having assignments to do and all, so it's nice, it'd be nice to document things that aren't just college work. And you probably noticed that I did mess up a bit on this because I've never done a Dutch door before. Um, and honestly, I forgot I was planning to do one because I already had this bit drawn out on that page. And I had said to myself, like, it's okay, I'll just cut this out and then I'll do that there. And I forgot and I just started going over the pencil marks here. So just cut that out. But I like how it turned out. I guess we'll see how I use it. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about having to do this once a week. So I'm just going to see if it works out this week and then I might change it up. If I do, you will see that in the flip through at the beginning of my April setup. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you next month. Bye.